I will always be here for her. Makes me so happy. So happy. I know he's special. He's special. He's special. Wade and I met in Greenwood, South Carolina. He was a sous chef at a restaurant called Pascal's Cafe. We were both seniors in college. I was working in the kitchen and she was a server. I was actually seeing somebody at the time. She had a boyfriend. But I saw him and I talked to a couple of my coworkers. I was like, he's really cute. Shouldn't have said it, but I did. And we were just coworkers at first. I was having a really bad day and he was the only one there that really just sat me down and said, what's going on? Became friends. And did it with the other guy. <laughs> we started from there. And then it kind of grew into what it is today. So he planned this whole sweet getaway. He didn't tell me where we were going. He just told me months before, I want to go do a little vacation. So I'm like, okay. I got the ring. I talked with her mom and her brother for their approval. Wanted to get the right date. He was like, we're going to go this weekend. I'm not going to tell you where it is. You just have to assume by the direction that we're going, that's the way we're going. I took her on a little secret vacation trip. So we ended up in Charleston. The next day he was like, there are a couple cute parks if you want to go check these out. And I love parks, so he already knew what my answer was going to be. I was cool as a cucumber until about 10 minutes before, and then I got extremely nervous. We went to this park and all of a sudden there was this beautiful gazebo. <laughs> he just stopped and turned around and said, this seems like a good spot. And completely forgot what I was planning on saying just got down. There was no romantic monologue. But I got it out. He just got down on one knee and proposed. She said yes, <laughs> luckily. If you talk to him, he's just very straightforward, doesn't ever crack a smile. And his smile is so precious, and I know he doesn't like his smile, but whenever he smiles, it seems like everybody else around him starts smiling too. What I love most about her, her goofiness. When he finally lets loose, he becomes the biggest goofball. <laughs> How we can just kind of sit around and laugh and not have to take each other seriously all the time. So that's really helped me just become a better person and stronger. Just being the person that he decides to open up to and choose to have in his life forever means a whole lot. I just know that he makes me so happy and like I'm about to start crying right now because of how happy he makes me. I will be the rock that she needs whenever she needs me. I just can't wait to start our lives together.